As far as being involved in athletics and everything that Stead's done for us, I mean, it's been, it's been pivotal. He's had a massive influence on, on not only our program, but I think our entire athletic department. From the day that he walked onto campus, I mean, one of the first things that he attended as the president of the university was the opening of our indoor rowing center because he was so excited about uh, being here, so excited about seeing the sport that, you know, maybe he's a little bit unfamiliar with, but I would say that he jumped in uh, with both feet and has lifted us up. And he's helped us raise funds to uh, make sure we can compete at the top level against teams like Harvard and Boston. From an athletic standpoint, to help, you know, with the football stadium. You know, we basically turn the biggest eyesore on campus into the, one of the Hallmark facilities. We now have a boathouse in Catoosa. Add bleachers to improve the atmosphere, you know, for our soccer games. Basically the model for our conference of our facilities and, and a lot of people are trying to play catch up with us. He's, he's helped us be competitive um, on a national level. I mean, I've been able to, you know, go to four bowl games in the five years that I've been here. And I know that that's kind of directly related to his leadership. Leadership all starts at the top and with, with Dr. Upham and, and his leadership and, and really explaining the vision. He was just so good at managing all the different aspects that go with, uh, with running a university. And I mean, we wouldn't have won 37 conference championships in Conference USA without having that kind of leadership. He epitomizes what it means to be a professional, but also just a guy that you can just talk to. He always has time for you. And I think that's a lot different than most presidents at a Division I school. To be able to communicate with Stead, you know, on a, on a regular basis is, is, I think, something that um, a lot of coaches just simply don't have the opportunity to do with their president. He'll take time to stop and say, hey to you, or, you know, just hear what you have to say. You know he's watching your games, you know. I think one of my best memories is coming to the sideline prior to our game with, with Northwestern in the uh, round of 16. and coming to the sideline and see instead, I think, what it meant to me and, and, and certainly my players. Oh yes, we definitely notice it. Like, well, if it's not before warm-ups or when we go up to bat, we're like, oh, hey, look, look who's in the stands. And we've got a big old picture of him up in the Case Complex right now. You just see him with his arms up in the air, you know, cheering as Sean Jackson's running a touchdown in. I can remember when we won the 2009 regular season championship at home. Um, big celebration, everyone's uh, high five, clapping hands. President Upham is the first one standing there ready to congratulate not only Coach Jay, but the whole rest of the team. So he was there, you know, supporting you and, and um, helping you win, um, you know, both, you know, directly and indirectly. And, and I, I think that part won't, won't go unnoticed. And he's, he's with us in the locker room celebrating. Something you don't really see too often, you know, or you don't associate that with the president as far as being on the sideline cheering or being in the locker room, you know, spiking a ball. And just knowing that the president's there to personally congratulate you for your achievement and congratulate your team, it's a great feeling and definitely makes you proud. You know, it's not just the fact that we won, but you know, it's the fact that, you know, he sees a team that's accomplished something so great and, you know, he just loves seeing us happy. For us, President Upham has meant success. Figuratively and literally, somebody's got some big shoes to fill.